ran out of time. But I want to show you guys how to make your dog nice, essentially. This is Mr. Bo Bo Bo. Oh. <laughs> Pitbulls too. <laughs> He's in the couch. <laughs> now, there's a few ways. He's hyper now. This is the second time I've tried to make this video because I ran out of memory the first time. But here it is. Give me a From a young, I've had him since he was young. I picked him out pretty much at birth and had him as soon as possible. And uh, so I'm real close with my dog, but. Most dogs start out pretty nice and friendly anyways. So the key is to get them when they're young. And first of all, if you're going to get a pit bull, you have to walk them a lot. Take them out and play with them a lot because they are high energy. <clears throat> Everybody wants the pit bull because it's, it's basically it's a family dog. And a lot of people want it because of the bite or whatever, which most of that is not true anyway. But you just have they they have a high energy, and you need to take them out. You need to play with them. Otherwise, it's going to make training your dog harder. So I would say take them out, play with them a lot, and also get them as young as you can, so you can get a good bond. That being said, uh, the way you make your dog really nice. Mm, there's a few ways, and this is why you do this one. You don't try not do your best not to hit your dog. I used to spank my dog, like I like spank him on the butt and stuff. But the best way to make them really nice is when you're always petting them or when you play with them, especially if you get them at a young age. That's when you really want to do it. Always grab their fur. Right now he's kind of calm. I've been playing. I've been playing with him. So he was hyper, but he's calm now. I've just been petting him, chilling. Him. But if, when you got them as a puppy, you ch grab their fur, grab their ears, and I know you're like, oh, it's your dog. Of course you can do it to your dog. And yeah, I can, but ask most people. Anybody can do this with my dog. Now he's playing. But you have to do that from a young age because the difference is, look at all that. Like, even though I did that, he's not attacking. You know, he's playing with me. He knows me. He knows my, he knows how hard he can bite me and stuff. But the point is that he's not rabid all of a sudden from doing that because I've done this from a young age. And you do that because kids do that. What do kids do when they see the dog? Doggy! And they grab him. Doggy! And they grab him. If your dog's not used to being grabbed, they're going to bite. You know? If your dog doesn't know what's happening, he's going to bite. So you have to show him immediately. You always have to play every day. Every day. I have a lot of younger cousins. I always. He's never been any of them. He's been around babies, everyone. He's never been a person ever. And, uh, it's because he's used to being grabbed. He knows it's not a threat. Number two, always play in their mouth. That is key. Always rubbing their gums, always rubbing their teeth, grab their tongue, always. Always, always, always. Because that teaches them the, 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 the line basically you know how far how hard can they bite because especially when you get them at a young age do it the whole a lot man massage their gums a lot pull their fur a lot grab their ears a lot because they have to get used to that because random people are going to be doing it to a damn front day Mr. Bobo Bobo is in this year show so and my dog's not my dog I was I'm not going to lie my dog's not the most obedient he doesn't sit every time immediately I tell him to sit he won't do come every time I tell him to come he plays around me a lot but he is the, one of the nicest dogs ever I promise that he's, he's meaner to me than anybody cause he knows his levels I mean, he knows I'm playing and he's pretty tough and he's strong what are you doing man come on get off that look at him acting a fool now he's getting hyper again but yeah that's my advice if you got a pit bull, man. Pit bull especially. But any dog, really. I would say you do that with any, any dog. Especially if your dog has high energy from a young age. If they got high energy, you need to walk them more. You need to take them out running more. <laughs> this is not helping my case. <laughs> like I said, he's not the most... <laughs> he's, he's, he's playing it out. He knows it's his show, but... 
to, I'm talking about strictly niceness and everything. So we're just the dogs. If you want your dog nice, come on, get out of the couch. Get out, son. <laughs> All right, guys. That's enough. But yeah, that's how you make your dog friendly.